Season's greetings. Let's find the derivative of the natural log of x squared. When you see the natural log of x squared, you might notice that's a function, x squared, inside of a function, the natural log function. And so you may think to take this derivative with the chain rule, and we will do that, and I hope you will too. But we'll also do it without the chain rule. Two ways we can do this fun little derivative, so let's get into it, and I encourage you to give the chain rule solution a try yourself. You've gotta take the derivative of the outside function, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Give it a try yourself. Now, let's get to the solution. All right, what's the derivative of the natural log of x squared with respect to x? We use the chain rule, because it's the function x squared inside of the natural log function. For the chain rule, we first take the derivative of the outside function. The outside function is the log function and the derivative of that is just one divided by the stuff inside. Remember, the derivative of natural log isn't just one over x, it's one over the stuff inside. The stuff inside is x squared, so that derivative is one over x squared. Then we just have to multiply by the derivative of the stuff that's inside. The inside function is x squared, so the derivative of that Power rule, it's just 2x. So we have one over x squared times 2x. We're basically done. Just might wanna do a little bit of simplification. We've got 2x divided by x squared, so a factor of x can be canceled out from the numerator and denominator. And our answer is two over x. Not too bad. So chain rule works just fine, but if you remember your log rules, then you could do this without the chain rule. Let's try that. First, we've got to remember that the log of something to a power is the same as that power times the log of whatever that base was. So log of x squared, we can take that power of two and bring it down as a factor with multiplication. So the natural log of x squared is two times the log of x. Pretty nice. Now we're taking the derivative of two times log x with respect to x. Of course, that's the same as just two times the derivative of the natural log of x. We can just take the two outside of the derivative and the natural log of x has a derivative of one over x, simple as that. And so our final answer would be two times that derivative of one over x, which is more tastefully written as just two over x. That's how we can take the derivative of the natural log of x squared with and without the chain rule. Pretty cool.